Yes, sir. But I, I am excited for this too. I mean, uh, Game or Game Watch doesn't love swords, right? Uh, but Link doesn't love reflectors. So how do you think that shakes out, Ritual? You know, I, I think this is a matchup that is Game & Watch favored at the end of the day um, for a couple of reasons, right? First of all, the movement speed advantage, right? Game & Watch has it. Second of all, uh, while up, you know, while swords are really good, uh, Link here spin gets deactivated on shield, so Game & Watch just kind of wins the out of shield option all day. Um, mm. Combined with the fact that Link has some of the laggier sword aerials in the game. So while he can sure. blow you up at a really early percent, and his main scrapping tool is that neutral air, which does get invalid, kind of invalidated by Game & Watch's standard defensive game plan against more CQC characters. Yeah, and I just saw Boomerang get invalidated by Game & Watch Nair. That feels kind of bad. Yes, sir. <laughs> for, the, the, for the hero. This built up and he has the 9-2, but missed it. Marcus is, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> The way he's pulling out these nines, the way he's finding everything he wants right now, it feels like Marcus just oh my God, does, that will bomb? not lose this tournament. Marcus is just having everything hit right now. Just everything. I don't know how that bomb hit in between the hits of Hero Spin. And, and he's and, uh, Judge hitting, I mean, eventually it'll it'll be a nine, okay, right? If, if you, you keep hitting them. Bro, if you found that down smash too, that would have been absolutely OD. I love the bomb there off the forward air to reset. Delta Force's own bomb disrupt this ledge trap scenario. Oh, and finds Whoa. way out the up special through the early hero spin. That move is such a non-factor in this matchup. It's so unfortunate. You know, Mr. Game & Watch needs it, as they say, but he does need these edge guards. Barely gonna hold on, barely gonna find his way back to stage, but Delta Force is gonna keep it on lock, gonna overextend the bomb, though, gonna keep him alive, but even still, there is no escape except holding on for dear life right now, Patch. The momentum is just crazy. Marcus is just absolutely rolling. Everything is working. Everything is working. Uh, uh, place, uh, perfect bomb placement at the ledge. Um, it's hard to know what to. T <laughs> okay, blowing up the bomb. Okay. He's gonna go for the hit the nine again, just like that. Marcus says, "Who needs fair and balanced gameplay? A game you watch. Sit down, Delta Force, because we are booking it to game two. Was that even a minute long? What percent?" What percent was my man Link at there? <laughs> was... Oh, was I mean, what do we say? Like, you, you, you hit the judgments, eventually you will hit a nine. I'm looking at percents. Zero, <laughs> zero, zero, five, 13. Five, 13. Yep. And by the way, by the way, 17, that dead. Only Goodbye. fun fact, fun fact. Game launch down throw nine there uh, confirms up until those those low mid percents because of rage though it held on just a little bit longer because the extra hit lag and was able to close it mm. out no rage that doesn't confirm there and delta force lives another day but instead he's gonna have to make try and prevent the reset here down zero one and stop the the freight train frankly that is this game and watch player yeah and this is interesting because marcus is is in the loser side Right, but the way that this is going down, it, it it feels the opposite. The onus is on Delta Force to do something to snuff this out, and taking the first stock with only 52% is a good way to start that, I would say. Now the edge guard, the corner pressure situation, that's the first time we're not gonna see Marcus capitalize on that the whole time through, but the Pogo gonna bounce off, not able to find the punish, is gonna be able to off the, utilizing the bomb. Um, to right force the early bounce and now just the pressure at ledge this is where game and watch can get so scary but once you whiff right that link sword does give you at least some tools to punish this is a back and forth whiff punish battle in game number two my friend and even though marcus is down a stock i mean we've, we've already seen him eviscerate a couple like it's nothing if he can close this one out this game's even for sure and oh okay yeah i think probably need to get get an air out there but i don't even know if that if that would have been safe maybe you don't get f tilted but of course uh marcus always has the uh <laughs> i'm trying to remember the name but the up special <laughs> fire escape whatever it is yes sir 
In the meantime, though, memories of the up special aside or not, it will stick in Delta Force's mind like a hot like that. coal yeah, so. burning away because there is no escape. You have to be aware of that constantly. And the one way to counteract it is just never get in range of it. You see Delta Force here just playing that patient game really abusing his ability to zone out game and watch a little bit with that up special yeah game and watch can throw a bucket but you can just reaction and bomb um um to time the drop up so delta force playing very disciplined and it's giving him a brief lead here but again if marcus can close this one out he's certainly not out of it yet we've seen him fish for the nines your stock might just be gone at zero if you're not careful yeah and i mean at least i guess bucket is 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 it's not a non-factor I believe um, it can work on Link Bomb Explosion. I think that's it, and yet... Okay, we've got the bomb recovery, and then there's nothing you can do about that up smash. Once it starts, as long as Marcus gets the timing, it's invulnerable. Yeah, man, really Game nice & Watch there. just has so many items on no the No way! We're not gonna kill here on PS2. So much space Will to cover, it, but no jump. He's gonna survive what a the recovery. bomb recovery, but all of a sudden it doesn't kill the game still, even though Marcus could steal this one away. And even though he didn't get the, steal the game by the skin of his teeth, he might still just do it. The gutsiest grab of all time, though, gonna allow you to find your way through down smash and the dash attack to boot. Boot, the pressure is on right now, Mr. Patch. At Marcus trying, he had the life flight. He has that one chance and you can tell he is fishing to steal this game away. Yeah, I, Delta Force's heart has to be beating out of his chest right now. I mean, to, to still be alive after that. The fact that he went for that grab there too. Oh my God, Marcus is fishing for every kill confirm in the book. He knows he cannot get hit again. He knows, hey, I'm playing against Link out of the corner. I gotta outspace this forward air. I have to be careful. It's that or up tilt that's gonna kill me. So I just can't get called out. Play it patient, throw it back, reset, keep it going. Because at the end of the day, it'll be me climbing closer to the kill percent. I'm already there, so I don't need to worry about it. However, you take too much chip, you just get caught in the grab, and that's gonna be it. Delta Force evening up the set. I don't wanna re- he does not wanna reset right now. I was gonna say. No. You can no. tell that man is going, I do not want this reset. If I have to play another three to five games against this Game & Watch, I don't know what I'm gonna do because he is a cheeser. Marcus has the fundies, he's, he know, has the character knowledge, he has the matchups, he is a very talented player. But let's be real, Patch. This man has cheesed his way through this bracket <laughs> in addition to the fundies. You know what though? It's, you have to make a choice to go for the nine. You have to make a choice to go for judgment and be happy with what you get. I honestly respect it. Most mm -hmm. people aren't even making the attempt. Absolutely. And I mean, it's say. absolutely crazy how much it's working out, but... Yeah. But this is like a Peach player if they play Game & Watch, right? They just always find the turn if they want. Marcus always finds the number on the judge he wants. And you know what they say, you either die by the fundies or you live long enough to see yourself become a cheeser. Marcus <laughs> is in that late stage arc and keeping the pressure on right now. Uh, it's been, been no cheese, all fundies early in this game three. And finding the first stock off that alone will go a long way to opening up this set in his favor. And I do want to give a quick shout out to Delta Force for just being able to survive that last nine um, on game one, because that was low enough percent that uh, blowing up the bomb against yourself, it didn't even take him that far. It wasn't even that much knockback, but was able to get just the right angle to be able to up be back to ledge. Yep, Speaking about being just... back to ledge, it's uh, harder than you may think sometimes. Mm -hmm. I like but, that up B. Gutsy yeah. out of shield. Uh, and, a little DBZ moment. And beautiful Wait. timing as well there, I want to say, on the chef from Marcus, right? Trying to find the ledge trap at Delta Force with the delay on the hero spin to find his way back between the pings. Things now have both players pinged back and forth to the blast zone patch as the pressure rises once again. This is an even last stock. Gonna look for the nine here, potentially. No, yeah. just gonna rack on the damage. Not gonna find the optimal combo, and instead, it's just gonna be Marcus having to reset, trying to get away, not get his landing trapped by Delta Force, and find one more opening. Oh gosh, what even traded there? Couldn't tell. Yeah, this is interesting, because now, now we're not seeing the, the judgment come out. 
as much. There's been a few setups into it. I wonder if yeah. I wonder if that's you know how much that's a, a conscious decision by Marcus or do you just have to go by feel with that thing? I, I could see that to, too. You have to go by feel and also it depends like what number you've thrown out last. You want right? You can't get the same one twice in a row, so you want to make Good sure point. it's nice and primed. Plus, when you're pushing an advantage this hard, when you're always in the right position for a follow up, you don't need uh. to go for it as much stage positionally, whereas when you set them, send them towards stage more, when you have an awkward positioning relative to plot, that's where you see Marcus go for a lot of these nines. I just want to point out, Delta Force gave Marcus so much respect, and that was untackable, unfortunate for Delta Force. But, I, I mean, had a whiffed forward smash and a whiff down smash right in front of Delta Force, and Delta Force said, you know what? I I'll just I'll just go over here. <laughs> wow, not looking for the fast fall there. Marcus so Mark is not gonna try to push the advantage, get the edge guard, and instead just gonna get swatted away by that forward air, but gonna hold on, get back to stage and find stage control for his troubles. Well's not gonna outspace the sword though, and so Delta Force is going to have a chance to even up the stock count. Bomb, you were off stage for too long. You were holding ledge for too long for your percent, sir. And the higher that percent is, the longer you're off stage, the less iframes you have. Delta Force taking full advantage of the stock. And now with an advantage state, this is a huge opening opening for him. Yeah, Delta Force is really starting to turn things up. Does not have bomb. I do see it on the left side of the stage there. Mm -hmm. And that's huge, right? It doesn't allow him to set up oh, those okay. defensive if frame traps oh. that he's been so good at. The offensive pressure there from Marcus is gonna allow Hero Spin rarely to work out in this matchup. And now you see Marcus already opting for the defense, throwing out some chefs in neutral just to create some space because you know that if you have to fight this Link Bomb just to come back along with Boomerang, it's so hard to do. Yeah, it, I, I really like how Delta is um, just kind of giving Marcus too many things to reflect. <laughs> you know, it's not it's not just the bomb to think about. Also, I really like that toss up too. No way oh, did he find that and survive that. Oh, Crazy okay. reaction for both players. As the hero spin, not gonna close it out, just barely patch. But now Marcus has to find his way back down, going to do so. We'll give him the down smash, but the grab! Are you kidding me? How the heck did Delta Force find that? That it makes such a big difference that, you know, a, a character with as low weight as Game & Watch that you can... I mean, we've seen it throughout this set reliably, like, regularly just just like send him up. I mean, he's swinging the, the sword makes sense that, was, that that's strong. Bro, this is literally the last couple frames here. Watch this. Yes, yes, yes. Of the release, oh. he gets out of dodge, holds oh, on, yeah. but it's not enough. Of both down smashes for Marcus were so close to closing out the game, but just couldn't find it. it. He had all the momentum going into the set, took it to a quick game one win. But since then, just Delta Force's defense has kind of proved too much to handle. Well, he hasn't found enough opportunities where he's comfortable rolling the dice, right? When he's dominating neutral oh, and getting more wins anyways, you might as well go for those socks. But right now, the only <laughs> one getting zero to death, <laughs> the only one exploding 30 seconds in is Marcus himself is Delta Force being the first to give him a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, this really has shifted quite a bit. Delta Force making the needed adjustments. There we see a judgment. Okay, five to take those. I mean, Ritual, what do we what do we think really happened here? You know, I mean, is this just a matter of the nines aren't hitting? <laughs> well, he hasn't been looking for them, right? He's been forced into neutral in to play neutral on Delta's terms around some of these awkward hero spins, around some of these bomb boomerangs, but really more so the bomb gameplay. Bomb has been so effortlessly positioned by Delta Force every single time to find in these awkward situations where if Game and Watch puts a button, he catches bomb and then half kind of can't act, right? It kind of numbs down that bubble that Game and Watch establishes for just a second. It's just enough for Delta to take the position he's needed. It's really just been a understanding of positioning in the matchup that Delta has been able to lock down, combined with some defensive adjustments that so far Marcus just hasn't had an answer to. Good DI there. That was a nice, uh, bold call out with the with the up B. No, I agree with you though. I think um, I think I think it's a good analysis. I just Marcus has got to start finding that magic that he had earlier even just earlier in this set mm -hmm. 
and you know he needs to find the stock if he goes down three stocks to one right we're gonna start seeing the judges come out out he hasn't found the bucket opportunities even though you might think they would with bomb because of that remote timing that he can just keep you guessing and that delta force is so willing to just wait with those explosions to use the bomb just to reset you by a couple frames of hit stun on and keep the pressure going and now three the reverse three stock is a tall task we know Marcus can do it, but the question is here, Patch, will he, the way Delta Force has just locked this one down? Yeah, I mean, Delta Force has, first of all, been able to just not die. Holy bomb recovery. <laughs> it's, that is, that is tough to, to do as consistent. I mean, especially when you, you, you got a tech and, you know, a different, heck, I mean, I, I wouldn't even been surprised if, if, like, at what point does that become untackable? <laughs> Do you just blow yourself up into an untackable stage spike? That, that is the qu question right now. As, as Delta Force, despite still piloting Darkling here from Twilight Princess, remember this character overhauled, like, Breath of the Wild, and you know this man's got the Sheikah Slate. The way he put Marcus's momentum straight into stasis is... It really feels like, even here, right, Marcus is fighting Bomb and Nair and still not able to find a conversion off of it. He's starting to play antsy. His confidence just isn't there anymore. Yeah, and I really think the neutral game has, has shifted a lot. Agreed. Um, just with Delta Force able to, again, really just throw out too many things um, to, to reflect. Also, his Nair positioning, like we saw there, to call out and out position Game & Watch neutral air has been immaculate, Good. but Delta Force is gonna get unfortunate gameplay as he falls out, but going to clean it up after the fact, the up air to find find his way around any potential keys back into this game, and Delta Force is gonna be your champion here at Fusion 182. What a tournament. That was looking like a moment to hold. Right? <laughs> yeah, that was that was one of those. Uh, uh, is he gonna get a grab? Is he just gonna nine you? Are we gonna go to a game five? But Delta Force really did just lock it all down at the end. His decision yeah. making, my friend, was just immaculate. For sure. <laughs> that was the story. Oh my right? god! This changed the whole set. That he that nine did. Watch not this recovery. Go. That's so impressive to me. And the fact that he uh, is that me? Too. No, I agree with you, man. Delta <laughs> Forces, throughout this whole event, right? We both mentioned it earlier. Delta Forces' routes back to stage were fantastic. As well, especially his MVPs, obviously his bomb, but his routes and his ability to find those grabs. If only he found four or five different grabs over the course of the set on Game & Watch Down Smash and one on the Up Smash to boot that really just start opt Marcus from throwing out those tools to anti-air and to contest in certain situations. He was finding a lot of mileage on earlier in the set. It changed the entire tide of the game. And even when you find an Up Special, even when you get the iframes to get out of dodge here, there's just no escape. <laughs> The Looney Tune sequence. Everything about that was so funny. I did want to compliment also right before that, um, when Delta Force uh, tossed up the bomb at the left ledge. Uh, I think full hop double jumped, Z grabbed, and threw the bomb up again to try and like catch Marcus going really high. And I'm still like, it's hard to tell even in the replay how, and how that didn't hit, you also, know, because it was so finding, high, but like, that's just such a smart play. Finding that stock too, recognizing the DI up off the neutral air to recognize, hey, Marcus is going to go past ledge, so I can just dash off, find a drop zone forward air here. If I'm quick enough, full sended it, found the stock, and that really was another turning point there in game number three. That being said, my friend, it's the end here at Fusion, and you know what that means. I believe we have one more set of ads before we sign off. So folks, let's get into what's coming up here in the Tri-State area and in New Jersey, starting off with Fireside Open over at the lovely Rutgers University. They always put on a fantastic event and this Saturday is going to be no exception. Go register today at start.gg slash F-O as in Oliver 23 and check out Fireside Open today. Now this is a lot of different events. Go to any of your regular tournaments uh, listed on screen there from Fusion to PTB. All part of the New Jersey Smash Circuit coming up on the home stretch of that uh, as people try to line up uh, line up at the front of the line for that 
$2,500 prize pool. Uh, we also have uh, another series continuing, Collision, uh, leading up to Collision. <laughs> uh, the big Smash Major we got coming up in March. I have to make Sir, it up. I think it's fair to myself, call it honestly. the East Coast's crown jewel of an event at this point in time. Collision puts in so much work between RJ, A, <laughs> Kavorkian, and Kelvin. Ubel and the entire crew, that team does so much work through and through. And again, if you enjoyed Bracket tonight, every single Monday, doors open at six, there's a singles bracket, starts at seven, and they, it's in an arcade. You have access to so many games just by paying venue. Please go support Fusion over in Rahway, New Jersey. We brought it to you here tonight, and I cannot think of many locals better to go to in person. Another local, though, that is certainly up there is Zeno every single Wednesday with an $8 venue and a $7 entry over on Ludlow Street here in New York City. One of the most storied locals here in Ultimate entering its final full year in 2024. You can follow them over on twitch.tv slash house of 3000, start gg slash Zeno, or go on Twitter er, and tweet out free HO3K to help house get their Twitter back. That being said, my friends, Speaking of being back, Fusion will be back next week. Who knows if we'll be, though. I've been Ritual, joined here by Mr. Patch. And before we go, Patch, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at PatchSSB. I am also on Twitch, uh, Mr. Patch Cass, uh, actually streaming some Pokemon Nuzlocke content here and uh, there. And yeah. how about you, Ritual? Well, they can find me on Twitter at RitualCast and on blue sky at ritual.bluesky.social. Also, I do have an Instagram now at ritualcast, it's the same as my Twitter, so y'all should check it out if you want to stay up with up with to date with me, the events and the events I have coming up in 2024, I guess now. Holy cow, Whatever the years year are flying. Is. We're getting old. And <laughs> until Fusion 183 folks, you'll get a little bit older by a week. We'll see you next Monday. <laughs>